Payne or Rashad Milligan rolling out? That's a good question. Okay, okay, X is Rashad. <laughs> hey, Rashad. That's just me. Okay. All right. All right. KB, congrats on the win. Um, shot lights out again tonight. Uh, but I think my favorite part about what I'm seeing out on the floor is how much fun you got. I mean, the smiles that not only you, but the rest of your teammates have throughout the game. How much fun are you guys having right now? Yeah, I mean, I think that's what people like fell in love with with us. Um, and, you know, it's it's hard when, when things are a little bit sticky. I think earlier in the year, it's hard to have fun, but you're right. It needs to be a priority. Um, and I think, yeah, tonight it, just, it was like infectious. You could see it with everyone um, throughout the entire game. So that's always been like the identity and spirit of this team is very joyful, very, very um, selfless, very loving. And so I think that that's something that's going to continue throughout the year. KP, hey, defense turning into offense usually means a lot of rim runs, a lot of fast break points, opportunities. 46 points in the paint, 19 fast break points. We're trying to see if those are season highs for you guys. But in those middle quarters is kind of where everything changed. What did you guys see to kind of make that possible? I think just being more intentional, uh, pressure on the ball and to be more intentional about our schemes. Um, you know, I think that uh, in the past we've had a lot of slippage, uh, quarter to quarter lapses. And so um, one of the things about having a veteran team is to be able to make adjustments on the fly. And I think we're getting better at that. Um, and that's just something we got to continue to build on, you know, and we've been on a, um, a winning streak, but that's really because of our defense and us able to make adjustments quickly um, because every team in, uh, in this league is really good. Everyone goes on runs. Everyone's uh, super talented and can score. I mean, Washington scored 30 points in the fourth quarter in LA. Like it's not, you know what I'm saying? Like anybody can go. So just being intentional about that. And uh, when we're able to do that, that's when we're at our best. Hey, Kelsey, um, if you could describe really, you know, what this month has been really like from, te from June 1st to, excuse me, June 4th to July 4th. I mean, it seemed like around early June is when, you know, the losses came in, you know, Chelsea yeah. came back and then, you know, things started really picking up. And as you mentioned now, you guys are really having fun right now. You know, what's this month just been like, you know, just kind of stepping back? Yeah, you know, if it's, it's one thing I've learned in life is uh, can't get too high, can't get too low. And, uh, you know, it, it's... Uh, this team is built uh, throughout adversity. We've done it time and time again, um, even since what I was here in 2018. And um, so, I, you know, I had all the faith in the world in each individual, our coaching staff, and also that we were just going to figure it out. You know, I think a lot of times when you win consistently at a very high level, pe people take it for granted. It's not easy winning especially when you got a, you know, a target on your back and everyone's coming in and they, they, they want a piece of you, you know? And so I think that early on, uh, we we just weren't we weren't good, um, and so I just think having Chelsea back, being able to be more of a well-oiled machine, get in a rhythm, in a flow, um, and you're seeing that now. And this is the identity I think that everyone was expecting at the beginning of the year. But you know, it doesn't really matter what anyone else thinks. It's about what the locker room is doing, and uh, I've I have a lot of faith in our locker room, and we're gonna be we're gonna be steady. Can we jump to the the Zoom really quick. Um, let's go Willie and then Matthew. Then we'll come back to it. KP, uh, over the last since Becky got here, you you've had you've been so proud of different aspects of your game, the evolution of different parts of your game. You come off two big scoring nights against Indiana, Washington, but right now with your evolution of your game this season, what are you most proud of right now? I was watching the post game broadcast. You were talking about tossing dimes, playing quarterback to tight end with Asia. What right now with your game personally are you most proud of? Great question, Willie. Um, I think for me, to be honest, uh, I learned this term the other day. It's like psychological flexibility, just the ability to adapt game to game. You know, some games it's me running a little bit more points. Sometimes it's me defensively just getting up in people trying to create havoc. Sometimes it's me shooting a lot of threes. Sometimes it's me getting into the paint. And so I just think I pride myself on game to game, figuring out what I got to do to help my team win. Um, and I've learned at the end of the day in this league, you can care about stats and you can care about, um, you know, like big numbers, but legacy is really about who can win games. So that's what I would like to be remembered. Like just Plum figured out a way to help her team win all the time. And that's what I'm most proud of. Thank you. Matthew. Hey, KP. Um, sort of to jump off of that question, you said the other day that when Chelsea was out, you were still trying to figure out, should I be a scorer? Should I be a passer? And it seems like these last two games, 
you really found that right decision of like, okay, I'm going to take my shot. I'm going to drive to the basket. I'm thinking of tonight, right? You had a wide open three. You waited for someone to close out. You drove right by. I'm just, do you feel like you now with Chelsea back, you're back to finding your more normal role and more normal feeling for yourself. And that's been why you've been able to have some more success the last couple of games. Yeah. I mean, I think Chelsea is definitely a part of it. I think that, um, just taking a little bit more of a offensive load off of me uh, just so I can be more efficient. I've always pride myself in being a very efficient player. Um, I think also as well, like throughout the season, you catch a rhythm, you catch a rhythm and a flow. And so I think that um, just giving myself grace, you know, the beginning of the season, um, you know, there's just a lot going on uh, personally, professionally, just, you know, life is life. And so just give myself some grace, trying to figure it out. And I know me, I just need time. I just need time to get into a rhythm and uh, um, just grateful that, you know, found a little bit of one. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, I have a question for Kelsey. Uh, yeah, I got a quick one. Uh, I actually want to circle back to the jump pass that you do to Asia. Um, just a two-parter. When did you know it was going to be a jump pass specifically? And where does that pass rank for you in terms of ones that you've thrown this year? Point two seconds before she threw it. <laughs> Yeah, um, I just said I want to be like Becky Hammond when I grow up. So, you know, I was just, I saw her and I just kind of jumped and the defense leaned a little bit and I just. You baited them with your eyes. I threw that thing. Yeah, I'm, I've learned from, I learned from Chels. She baited them. Uh, if you got to look, you got to look this way to throw that way, you know? So um, that was fun. And shout out to Asia, guys. Asia has the best hands in the world. It's ridiculous. Like, I I threw that thing so hard. Mm. So I'm just grateful that she laid right her head. Thank you. You good? Thank you. Yeah. Smell that trade? Hey, George, Sean Milligan rolling out. That's a good question. Uh, Brandon, yeah, we you want one quick question? Okay, Rashad. Okay, Rashad.